Hello everybody, Trekkie here with another episode of Trekkie Plays Minecraft. Episode 14. Yeah. And today we're going to be building ourselves a farmhouse for our farming villagers. Because they will be working on the farm. You know, in theory. And by in theory I mean they'll just stand around while I do all the work. But, it'll fill some flavor. Plus, it's nice to build something. And I cleared out some area. Well, hello, son named John, jumping on the tombstone of your sister, whose name was also John. That was just a random name that they gave her. They gave her. Here lies John, my daughter, and here's my son, John. Uh, what you could do is you could talk to the priest guy, and they'll give you. You could adopt the kid. Well, the first time, yeah, my sword kind of, kind of killed her. Well, I was trying to kill the skeleton. She didn't have a weapon, and she jumped in the way. I guess she was trying to save the skeleton. I don't know, but she died. So, here's John. Let's tell John a joke. He liked it all right. Well, you stay here. I don't got nothing for you. This is... We got business to take care of. We got business. He doesn't look anything like me. There's, like, not even a passing family resemblance... <laughs> yeah, I know I'm Spyro, but uh, he's not even purple. He's not even purple. But I love you anyway, kid. You're good. And you could take them with you to do stuff. Um, they're actually pretty good combatants. You could give them a bow. They could shoot bow, or they could use a sword. Um, you could take them to cut down trees with you, or mine, or what. Uh, I find the tree cutting to be a bit buggy. They kind of just run out the tree and look at it. But they are kids. I mean, what could you expect? Kids don't do chores. They ADD. That's that's the point of being a kid. You don't do what you're supposed to be. You don't do what you're told. Not even in Minecraft. Can't get any kind of sense of order or discipline. And as you might see in the, like, the little previous clip at the beginning of the video, I've been finding villages around, and these guys populated it. So what I do is I just drag them on over. Uh, unlike testificates, where you typically have to use railroads and stuff to drag them wherever you want, because you can't really. These guys, you just right click, follow me, find a place you want them to set home, click set home. Now, I did test it. It appears that they only need a block above their head for it to count as a suitable home location. Um, in creative, I put one guy in a cave and set his home, and another person, I put him in the middle of nowhere, put a single block above his head and set his home. So, yeah, it just needs a block above their head. I don't know if an air block, like a glass or anything like that, or anything like glass would work. I don't know. I didn't really test it. But what I do know is you can put them anywhere that has something over their head, and they'll be happy. They'll be right as rain. So I found quite a few of these guys. Did I leave this thing on again? Oh, that's just not good news. Well, they'll despawn eventually. Who cares? Let's get away from here. And over here, I cleared a large area. This takes forever to clear these areas. Let me tell you, um, especially with these high mountains, over here is not going to be so bad, especially with a good efficiency shovel. Take care of that dirt right quick and in a hurry. Um, but yeah, over here, we're most definitely... It took me forever to clear, and I also pushed it out a little bit. This all will be going, and it'll just be... It'll kind of merge into the pine forest. Kind of flow evenly into it. But for now, we got some building to do. I haven't really planned it out ahead of time. I know I just wanted to use spruce. I'm thinking for farmers, they're probably going to want to live off the land. So there's, And they're probably going to build their house off of readily available materials. I.e., the pine forest nearby. You know, cut down trees, make log houses. I would think that's pretty typical for the day. Um, I also got some oak logs. You know, spruce logs for frame. and We're just going to vary it up. So, but before we go, I have to do something with this that I forgot to set up. Okay. Let's make some stairs. It's a pretty sizable building. I played around in creative just trying to sign it fine. 
And I want the porch to be a darker wood. Like it's kind of weathered. It's darker than the fancy in-house wood. That one didn't show up at all. And oh, I didn't grab any. I'm off to a great start. So I want it to be more of like a wooden structure. After all, these ain't fancy people with st stone houses. These are people who live off the land. They work hard all day. They live off the land. Five up. Of course, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got every, I mean, everybody's got to have a front deck, right? Ugh. Not many people use spruce logs, but I'm going to. Like I said, there's a spruce forest nearby, so they're going to have a good, steady supply of spruce to build their home with. So we're going to we're going to make some use of it. Did I just get an achievement? I didn't really pay attention. Let's outline the deck. And I think the darker wood will make a nice deck. <laughs> Go on there, show up. And I ran out of wood already, but that's okay. I bought plenty of spruce. And I won't be using a lot of these planks anyway. Just for the deck. Okay, we are officially done with those. Now for the interior of the house... Ouch, god dang. Sorry about that. Um, for the interior of the house, we're going to be using light birch planks. And for maybe roofing, maybe some darker stuff. Let's get some of these oak wood. It's important to vary it up, I think. For visual, you know, if you have a lot of different things, your eye kind of looks at it and it's like, hey! You know, something more for your eye to take in, which makes it ultimately more interesting to look at. Um, I like to have contrasting materials so that's going to be our deck, and it, I know it kind of looks like basic now. It's more of like a whole package thing. So we got to have our entrance to our house. Not too difficult to make. Something doesn't seem right about this. That's because I'm lining it up wrong. We're centered on a single block. Right down here, the you know is this. And there's a block to either side, but I like to center everything on a single block. That's just how I roll. Some people like two. I'm not one of those people. And this, is, of course, is going to have to be two. Oh, did I just did it switch over to? Yeah, it switched over to freaking oak. I hope I have enough. And you know, it seemed like I had enough whenever I was cutting it, but apparently, maybe I might need to get more pine. But that's okay. We'll worry about that when the time comes. It's becoming nighttime, but that's okay. That is okay. I think I'm still in it, am I? I've also found some more uh, Millionaire. I also upgraded, updated the Millionaire mod to the latest version, which adds a new uh, kind of peoples. The um, They're kind of like Romans. They're really fancy, ornate buildings and whatnot. I still need more of these, actually. Now, I'm not going to use torches to light up anything. Torches, I just don't like. I can't stand torches. We have several options available to us with these mods, mostly uh, Thongcraft. And in the day, I think they would be using candles and such. And Thongcraft adds candles. So I think that'll be a great way to light up our place and give a little bit of variance to lighting instead of having to use glowstone or torches. Um, torches are have never really been... A lighting source that I've ever liked to use. 
just don't particularly care for it. I don't know. I just never liked them. So now we got the porch. We got the... We got our... um. God dang, I can't even think the words. I've clearly lost my mind. We have the entryway. The doorway. I guess would be a good way to explain it. Now we need to create our walls. I think I've managed this wrong. I had something in mind. It's difficult to think and talk. You know, when you're trying to do a Let's Play, it's diff it can be difficult at times to really organize all of what you're trying to do while talking and trying to be entertaining. There, that's the way I wanted it to be. Just wanted it to protrude a bit. Let's get our oak wood. Oak. I want to stick out just a little bit. Let's have it stick out just a little bit. This is going to be the front of the wall. I want it to be made of wood, kind of like a wood cabin. Of course, it's going to be a fairly sizable house, and it's very modular. Um, the important thing to remember is houses aren't necessarily... God, I can't think of the word. I'll think of it eventually. They're not the same from side to side, let's just say that. I don't... It seems I could talk fine whenever I'm just talking to myself. You know, carrying on full conversations and what stuff. You know, that's perfectly normal. But when I go to do a video, it's like I jumble up my words and I can't think of it. I don't know why for the life of me I can't think of it. We'll add windows later. Uh, the important thing I think when designing a house is to get the framework first. Worry about the small details like windows, decor, and whatnot second. Get the rooms laid out. Get the main building structure laid out. And then you can worry about air the small things afterwards. Makes it a ton easier. And it makes it just seems to make more sense that way. Okay, so we got our spruce wood. Okay. And we could add this just there so it looks like it's Now that may look like an odd wall, but there's really no shadow between the logs, so it's kinda of hard to see the differentiation between them except on the ends. But, you know, there's not really much to do about that. But I still want to make a wooden house. Not all made of logs, though. You'll see what I have cooked up. Now, if we look front, we have our... We have our front. It's starting to take shape. Very woodsy. Very down-to-earth, I think. I think it fits the idea of a farm. Um, no. Don't think so. You have been denied. So, and then we just draw out an outline for the main room. Could be how. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Log placement can be a bit wonky at times, I find. The hole under there really doesn't matter. A bit of a freeze there. One, two, three, four. And we got ourselves a main room. It could be as big as you want. And I decide behind this main room maybe a kitchen and a dining room. And and a zombie, you know? That's every house needs a zombie. And a good thing about doing it in like sections is you could add on and subtract as you see fit. And I think I've run out of pine wood. I sure have. I'll be back when I have more pine wood to continue our construction. 
So I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, I said a few minutes, zombie. Don't be impatient. See you in a minute. And I'm back. I just went over to my house. Uh, my son grew into an adult. So, and he's gonna be, now he's gonna just live off my accomplishments in my house and not do anything of importance. But you know what can you do? I love the kid, but he's not the brightest. Not the brightest of the bunch, that's for sure. So I had a whole bunch of pine in my house. I already drug it over here. I collected a lot. Every chance I get, really, I try to collect some because I know I'm going to use it. As I said previously, I like I really like natural colors, like you know, greens, tans. That's my favorite stuff. I like using woods and stuff in my build. So typically, I know I'm going to use them, so I try to collect as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess I probably should have done that before I came back. But I forgot I'd come back and update you on the situation with the wood and all that exciting things. I'm going to finish the foundation and then we're going to come back and continue. So I'll be right back. Alright, so we've laid out the floor, laid out our walls. Looks kind of barren and simple right now, but the important thing is to start small and work your way big. Um, this way you can change as you need. You know, as you go along, it's completely modular. Like you say, if you like, okay, the house is square. Well, it's easy to add a wing onto it. Just cut out a hole, change the wall a bit, and bam, you've got what you need. So I'm gonna throw some torches real quick. Now let's get, let's do some walls in here to add some, to add something to it. So just going with basic. Of course, we're going to want walls here. Don't worry about doorways. We'll worry about that as we get to it. Take it one step at a time. That's a very important. It never picks. Well, I guess I didn't have any more, but never exchanges. Now, immediately when you come into the house, you're going to notice a few things. You've got the outside walls, very clear and distinct visually. You got the floor, very bright, you know, grabs your attention. Okay, this is the floor. It's made of wood. You know, we're keeping our wood theme. Uh, we got these walls, which are slightly darker, kind of reminiscent of the outside walls, but we can see that they're different to so the inside walls. The important thing is that, you know, work with visual acuity. Uh, you want to be, everything to be visually distinct, yet not clashing at the same time. It can be very difficult to really do correctly, but when you do, you you know what you do is done right. So this wall is coming straight back. I can't play stuff today for nothing. <laughs> Ugh. I'm trying to do a thing here. So it's like, okay, walls. What what now? Well, I decided this is going to be a two-story house. So in the main room, as is in typical in housing, we're going to want some stairs. Some stairs to match the floor. Just going to start right here. I should start one back from the doorway. Ah, Come on, work with me here. Get your shit to together, Trucky. People are actually watching you now. So you got you have expectation. <laughs> Which is funny, the other after I uploaded the last video, I, I uploaded an overnight when I was asleep. Um I come back online the next day and I had literally quadrupled my <laughs> my subscriber base. Uh, which is good, don't get me wrong, but it just came, took me by surprise. Uh, what happened is Doc M had favor had uh, liked my video, and you know, being a popular fella as he is, everybody's like, "Oh, we'll, we'll do." Look at this Trekkie guy. Who's this fool? Must have done something right for Doc to like him. So that's that. So we have our way up to the second floor. 
Now we just need to put a little divider. I want this to be the, the entryway, the entry hall, as it were. Okay, a couple here. Let's take this one down. something. Oh. oh. He's launching me up in there. That's just slightly annoying. Excuse me. I'm working here. You mind? He's non-union people. Non-union pe union people, I'll tell you. So you can come in here. I don't know if I like that so much so low. But a divide, this could be the living room. This could be a saw, side hallway. Maybe it'll lead to the wing. And of course, you know, this log here can be easily changed. That's the great thing about this system of making buildings is anything can be easily changed at any moment. Now we're going to want to differentiate our kitchen and our dining room. Doesn't have to be centered on the center of the house. You can do it however big you please. It's very simple. Ugh. Always a rogue. This please. Thank you. Make sure to light up your housing as you do it. So we need to wait for them to get over to the dining room. An open door. Way to get into the kitchen. Of course, take care of the lining as you go. And there. Very quickly and easily, we have very several functional rooms without have barely even really done any work. Mostly just building walls. So we got living room, got a kitchen, got a dining room, got a side hall, and we have stairs to the the second floor. And as the more you go along, like I say, it's take it one step at a time, and your house will become functional. Vary up your materials. Make sure there's a distinct floor, distinct walls. So you know it's important to take one thing at a step at a time. I think that. Really, it really speaks for itself. So I'm going to add the second floor, add some walls, and then I'll be right back to to show you how it All comes right, along. So I've completed the second floor, and I've given the top floor a wooden uh, outside wall to kind of differentiate it from the bottom floor, thus giving it some visual distinction and making it a little bit more interesting. Also, the second floor kind of juts out a few blocks to give it more of a sense of depth which also makes it more interesting. So let's go look at what I did. Okay, the top floor ceiling is the same. Well, the floor is the same as the first. We go up here. Oh, I forgot something. Forgot something. Trekkie always is prepared for everything, you know me. So come in. we have several distinct rooms. Now I've also decided this is where we're going to add on a bit to the house. I've added several rooms on here. Two smaller rooms. These are above the kitchen and dining room respectively. A more master room or master bedroom or whatever purpose you decide to use it for. Or I decide to use it for, I guess you could say. And we next to the stairs, instead of adding just another wall to separate it, let's add, change it up a bit. Add a bit of a railing. Makes it a little bit more interesting. We have a little bit of open area here. Maybe this could be a restroom, a lavatory, or however you wish to call it. Now we've not added any windows yet, but I, li I like to wait until I'm done with the base building structure to add windows and other fancy things. So let's let's work on adding this wing or bit to the house. Because right now the house is kind of square. You know, it's we need a little bit more flavor. 
And we could also make more families live in here if we add some more space to it. So let's just go over here. Any random old spot will do. Let's cut out the bottom floor entryway. And that's clearly not going to do. <laughs> Intersects a wall. Let's. It doesn't matter because it's going to be changed anyway. So we'll start here. And I'll just change the top floor accordingly. So what do we do? Just to add on a well, we. We pick a random height. Maybe this is going to be the front. Just go up. As I said, change this. Walls through here. The intersecting wall bits ain't going to matter. It could be hidden ultimately anyway. And we decide how far back to the, you know how far back in the house it goes. Well, we don't want the whole back of the house to be one flat line, so let's let's change it a bit. Let's add it to two up, keeping with our theme of trying to differentiate a bit. We just throw myself a region. Thank you. Now maybe this goes out a random bit. We don't have to have it specific. It's a great thing about builds like this is you can do whatever you like. I think that's as high. It is. How about that? Now this one's going to have to intersect. And it's hard to tell from this angle if I'm on the direct. I can always cut it down later. Nope, that works good. Just connect it. Ah, Trekkie, what is your problem? Learn to place blocks. This is a fundamental thing of Minecraft. Just don't work with me at all. That's fine. I mean, no big deal. Let's get some more pine. Thank God I have more. Because I know I don't have any more pine at the house. Okay, so now we've added some variance on the house. It's not just a square. Um, even something so small as an extra little bit of housing can make it ultimately you know, more interesting. It's still kind of flat now, but we'll fix that as we go. So I'm going to fix the, you know, the walls, outside walls, inside walls, and the top, and then I'll be back. And I'm back. I've laid out the wing. It definitely makes the house look more interesting, just having an extra bit to it. But it's still looking kind of flat. Obviously, that's going to be changed a lot when we have windows and shutters. And of course, having this in a little bit makes the back look more interesting as well. What we're missing is obviously the roof, a kind of covering for the porch area, windows. But most of the inside work is done, so we need to really f focus on decor now. I have nothing else I want to add to the house. It's fully functional all around. I changed the walls. As you can see in here is a fully functional area. Maybe it's a storage room for the family. And upstairs, I added another little room, maybe a wardrobe or another lavatory. Another bedroom, maybe a master bedroom. Who knows? So it's as it is right now, it's a fully functional house. All the rooms you can need. Looks pretty good. We just got to pretty it up. So one thing I want to get started on is roofing. Oh. Hello, son. Stop follow. You'll be all right. Or maybe you won't. <laughs> At this point, I can't. I can't really tell. Okay. Anyways, let's get started on the porch. I need some something to get up there with. Some stairs. 
some easy material to get. I can cut these back down. Let's just get up there. Let's put these across for our transversing needs. Now obviously I don't want it just to be a flat a flat bit across. No, we're gonna change out the middle. Give it some give it some volume. Actually that's gonna help a lot actually. Okay, let's cut out what doesn't need to be. All right. Now I'm going to extend it a little bit beyond the porch, just for flavor. Just for flavor. Inside, we use stairs because it links up nicely with this bit. Stairs again. Panels. Other side stairs. And of course, we can extend it past the actual beams that let it hang over. And then we got to think about visual. Visuals gives it some depth. Right on. Okay, we'll just make it square for now. We'll fix it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Get, don't get your panties up in a bunch. I'm finding I'm lacking in materials. Break my legs. I am the worst at <laughs> determining how much I'll need, but you see it looks nice already even though it's not finished. D definitely hanging over a bit. Could certainly use a bit there. Okay, maybe that's a weird lighting glitch. There we go. <laughs> lighting glitch is the bane of any build. Get back up there and finish this bit. Ah, that just doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. Oh, for God's sakes. Get where I need you to be, please. All right, so yeah, it's it's just kind of flat. So how can we really really make that better? Well, we could add some, not right there. Add some random blocks here. Don't worry, these will be cut down. They're not going to stay. Yeah, if they don't look that bad. It's not our purpose. One of these on the ends. Love the new revolving stairs. I don't know if it did it do it. Yep, sure did. Glad I made plenty of these. Oops, right, we're going to do this. Because we take care of these logs. And it adds a bit of an overhang look to it. Bit of sloppy, but we'll, we'll get it, don't worry. 
Well, to get it, don't worry. <laughs> like anybody was really worrying. But anyways, you could also do this on the inside. The old upside down stairs trick. The old upside down stairs trick. Yes. Very old and very upside down. There we go. So we just need to do with this now. We just need to do with this. Oops, that didn't work out like I had planned. I think like, well, that looks weird. Just hold your, just hold your horses. Just hold your horses. We're gonna fix it up. This doesn't stay. Not at all. Hmm, may need some adjusting. And that's just going to look weird. Maybe if we do here. Yeah, I think that'll that'll do. I think that'll do. Didn't get nowhere close this time, but that's okay. We are doing it. We are doing it. Ooh, that sounds kinky. Just the way tricky like it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we can do. Got to work on that middle piece now. Doesn't look bad at all. This piece kind of looks weird, but we'll fix that in a minute. Okay. Save me some of these planks and just use blocks back here. And you could also throw a light in there if you wished. But we're not going to. <laughs> we're not going to do nothing so obviously helpful. No. Afraid not. Afraid not. So yeah, we got ourselves an overhang. It looks nice in 3D. Add some flavor to the the porch. So next thing we have to work on is the roofing. That's an, always a major deal. And I know I don't have enough. Actually, let's add some windows, and we'll do the roofing next episode, because we are running long. But so far, the farmhouse is really coming along. Every little touch you add, I think people try to do everything all at once. You have to have a... What you have to have is a foundation, and then add to it. And it looks so much better. So let's, let's add some windows and see what kind of depth a window adds to us. So I have a window here. Symmetry. That is the that's the word I was looking for earlier. Oh, tricky you dumbass. Who dare shoots at me? Who dare shoots at me? Oh, you sneaky sneaky one, aren't you? You didn't come in there, you came through the window. I see how you work. I see your tricks. I see your tricks. Maybe we got some big windows in the living room. Ooh, look at that ugly wall. That's fascinating. Kitchen. Maybe a small window here. Small window there. The thing is, when making a house, houses are not symmetrical when it comes to window placement. So don't worry too much, oh, is there too much windows on this side of this, uh, or this side of the house? Place them per room, because it'll make more sense in the end. And this is the dining room. Again, maybe we'll just stay with some small windows. A lot of times, it's the imperfections that make something look nice, as opposed to perfection.
There's something weird about this wall placement. I'm going to have to work on that. But we'll worry about that at a later date. Of course, you have the wall jutting out here, so we ain't going to worry about that. Big storage room. Who knows? Maybe not too many windows in here. Front and, front and back. I would like to make these symmetrical across the room, though. Ooh. <laughs> outward, outward visibility. And the same deal on the second story. This is a small bedroom, so maybe he only has a single window. Same with this guy. Ooh, another ugly wall. Purdy. So we're gonna this is the master bedroom, maybe just a big window over here. And we can actually get out into our thing and we could see. Well Who ain't that France nanny? Huh? Ah oh, yeah, Trekkie, you did it. Now being a small room or a restroom, you're not gonna want much of a window in here, so we're gonna leave that as is. That's that. Hmm, this is another master bedroom. Maybe they like their second story visibility. Hello, peoples. Okay, fascinating. Window back here. And maybe some small windows on the side. Easy to add windows. You just got to think about it per, on a per room basis. Let's go have a look from it from the outside. What kind of spell am I going to be slinging? Fireball, hello mage, Pew. pow, right in the head. You can see the windows, they add some flavor. They're not supposed to be symmetrical. Real houses don't have symmetrical windows. Of course, there's going to be shutters next to these windows. Our farmhouse is really coming along, and I will finish it next next epi episode. We're going to finish it. It takes a lot, pretty good while to build these things, but if you want to build a nice building, it takes time. You know, you can't rush a building. I want every building in my city to be nice. I want my city to be a collection of great things, not just a bunch of little things trying to make a great thing look better. I want every single building to have its own personality, its own flavor. You know, every little thing. That, that's what, in my personal opinion, makes something, a city, awesome. A city is the sum of its parts, after all. And this is going to be our farmhouse. Our farmers are going to live here. And we'll probably have like a big far, uh, farm storage building where the little golems are run to place all their stuff. And of course we'll have our fields, we'll have our cows, our sheeps, a whole bunch of different things. It's going to look pretty good, but so far the farmhouse is coming along pretty well. Here's something getting attacked, but I don't see it. And I like how, how the light looks in the middle of the night. You know, you could, like dark fields of wheat and dark bit with animals, and you see this the windows on and the, the light on in the house. Uh, I'm going to use some candles, like I said, from Thalmcraft. Maybe some uh, night tour as outside, like magical lighting, because our theme is magic. After all, if I could run, bounce over here. Give it a look. And there's one thing I want to, well, no, I'll wait till we're done. I'll wait till next episode. Give you something to look forward to. <laughs> it's nothing major, trust me, not what I'm thinking. What is this guy doing? He's like babysitting. Yo, son, what are you doing? Are you are you eternally fascinated by these golems? <laughs> he's having a go. Oh, now he's running over there. He's having a good old time. Oh, he's got he's got a sword out. Something's amiss. No. I'll try to lure skeleton over your way. Help me, son. Help me. This evil skeleton. He's shooting, he's shooting arrows with his sword. This, this dude is that badass.
Did you lose him? <laughs> it's okay, you tried. You tried. Shooting arrows out of your sword, it's it's a difficult. Oh, he's just run he's just having a good old time. Looks like I have some a new guard over there. I press a villager sleeping out in the middle of the ocean uh, mouth, middle of the ocean, right. It's the grass grassy ocean. Either way, uh, we've done enough for this episode. Look at that. I just love the way it looks. It's going to look so fantastic when it's done. Um, but until we're until then, until next time, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. hope you enjoyed a little bit of building. Um, I love to build. It's my favorite thing. It's just, it's difficult to really put so much in an episode. And as a new Let's Player, I'm still kind of learning the ropes of how to, you know, build on camera, what to show, what to not show. It could be pretty difficult, but either way, we're going to get this done, and we're going to get some farmers, we're going to get some farms going, and eventually we're going to get our city going. Imagine a whole city full of nice big buildings and shops and all kind of each individually crafted. Uh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Take that creeper. Go out with a bang. But he didn't blow. Okay, well, either way. Hope you enjoyed yourself. This is Trekkie. I'll see you all next time. Take care.